Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going through the process of creating this. I've created this concept back in 2013. It's about a girl who have had bad luck in love and everyone telling her there are plenty of fish in the sea. Her adventure is yet to be told and today will be the day we'll recreate her story in pixel art. Here are some tips to help you with your process. Before we jump in, I always consider this to be a rule of thumb. When trying to brand genres, try to not overthink it, since it's more about capturing the essence and the flavor of the original concept and not a one of one copy. This mindset really helps with the process and takes all of the stress of second guessing every move that you have to make. Secondly, play around with the theme. For example, I'm going for a darker and horror vibe with this one, so I'm adding a bit more pointy and sharper edges. What you can do for your project is add a little bit more blacks and darker tones and it can give it a little bit of a gothic vibe and then add your own flavor into it and this could be a really good base and you can change the background add spikes and pointy objects and your composition would turn into something out of a tim burton movie when it comes to the characters a few tweaks really go a long way you can change the age makeup and even the style of the hair of the character it will instantly give your creation a fresh look and keeps the original essence of the design. For this one I decided to age her a little bit and change the piranha into an octopus. I wanted to give it also a carnage vibe to it and that way I can keep the game aesthetic without straying too far from the original concept. Another way is to alter the abilities of the character. So my original concept had her holding a fishing rod. So I'm swapping it with a trident and I think keeping a rod would be interesting but when it comes to bosses I want to start with simple ideas and expand on it as I go and keeping the philosophy of less is more. And lastly there are changes that tie everything together like the character backstory and the theme music. It always helps when you humanize the character by adding something relatable. Give it something that the player can resonate with. And that's why the original concept means so much to me since it's something I genuinely felt during that time and why it's one of my favorite paintings I've ever painted to date. And now we established the character sprite, it's time to go ahead and add a little bit more details to make it stand out in the game. So in the previous videos I mentioned that I wanted to keep the bosses and the important characters have a red theme so I wanted to keep that in here. And now playing around with the octopus, I wanted to make it look a little bit menacing and very different from anything I've created in the past. And that's why I wanted to go ahead and get the form in place so I can add a little bit of design elements that make it stand out. And I thought if I added more eyes, it would look a little bit different and go into the theme of an alien invasion. So I started adding different eyes and I selected the red color to stay with the, with the original theme. And I wanted to act a little bit more like a puppet master rather than an abduction. And that way it opens more doors for me in terms of writing and see what I can do with this character moving forward. And lastly, I'm just playing out with a simple animation. I just wanted to prototype and see if I do like an idle animation, how would that would look like? And from there, I can go ahead and add all the other animations moving forward. So I'm just making everything blink, so all of the eyes of the octopus, and also the visor of, of Myrna, and I wanted to make sure that it looks like a cyclops. And this is how the final design looks like. Thank you again for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. You'll have to channel grow and help me with the algorithm. If you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video as well, where we show you how to create endless possibilities from a single idea. And remember, just take it one day at a time, and I'll see you in the next video.